welcome to our December financial market commentary. December has certainly been a very interesting month for financial markets. Uh, volatility has continued. And as I explained in the November commentary, um, the broad theme is um, interest rates globally driven by the U.S. interest rate. Earlier this week, the U.S. Federal Reserve um, elected to increase interest rates again, the fourth increase in 2018. And in fact, they have flagged a further two increases in 2019. Um, therefore, the cost of money is beginning to rise. Um, and as a consequence, markets are nervous about current valuations of all types of investment. More significantly, perhaps, um, in terms of short-term volatility, uh, the US Federal Reserve also announced that it will continue with what it calls quantitative tightening. It is withdrawing from the financial system something like $50 billion every month. And that is resulting in reduced liquidity in many financial markets, which explains um, some of the daily volatility we see. Coming back to the UK, obviously we remain totally distracted by the fiasco that is Brexit. Um, we have no real um, knowledge of where we're going to end up. And that uncertainty is really starting to weigh both on the economy and on local financial markets. Of course, the problem for financial markets uh, about Brexit isn't so much you know, where we're going to end up, um, but the uncertainty um, that continues until we know what's going to happen. And as a consequence of that, businesses aren't investing in the UK as much as they ought to be. And that is already resulting in um, quite a big slowdown in the UK economy. Um, so hopefully politicians will um, see sense, um, pragmatism will prevail, and we will have um, some form of deal um, that businesses can work with um, in the not too distant future. But I'm not going to hold my breath. So the important thing for our clients to remember is that um, the portfolios that we manage for them are widely diversified and take into account the threats and the opportunities that we talk about in these market commentaries. We're pretty confident that we, we're doing the right things at the right time and that the results will come. Um, and 2019, we think, will be a better year for investors than 2018. In fact, although conditions have been tough, we're actually pretty pleased with um, how our portfolios have performed. Um, they've held up really well um, for a number of reasons, but principally um, our focus on exposure to the strength of the US dollar, which has really helped to um, lift values in many areas. So my advice to you is to focus on enjoying Christmas. Um, don't worry about financial markets. Let us do the worrying. That's, um, that's our job. Um, have a great time. And in the new year, I'll come back and tell you what I expect in a bit more detail um, to see during the course of 2019. So finally, Merry Christmas.